<laughs> he told me I did, I did a lot better this game, so just keep improving. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. I know you talked about keeping yourself in good shape when you got here. Do you feel like you have weeks of progression and you're kind of back in the football position like you want to be? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm exactly where I, where I want to be going into this week. Feel good. Condition is, is where it needs to be. Um, you know, understanding the offense is where it needs to be um, as a whole. So um, I'm pretty excited about this week. Is there a degree in this work split? You got yeah, a little got, bit on you. Yeah, I got a oh. patch over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is there a degree in this work split out. where, uh, you know, maybe you run X play better and, and Deontay runs Y play better and, and you might be used that way a little bit? Um, no, I feel like we, both of us can, can do whatever is, uh, you know, called upon us to do when it comes to the run game, the pass game. So, um, you know, it's our job just to get out there when they put us in there and, and execute the play that's called. Do you feel like it's kind of like getting into a situation where you guys, as a committee, you are settling into roles? Yeah, I think, again, it's getting to that point. Um, you know, and I think this week will be a, a good week to kind of see how things kind of un unfold with that, you know. So I know we're both putting our best foot forward, you know, helping each other when we can. Um, but, you know, obviously at some point it's going to be one guy that's going to be, you know, take a majority of the, of the snaps. And for you, like as a guy, I mean, I would imagine volume carries that works kind of better for you. Is that something that, you know, is, is true in, in stating that? Uh, I, ju I guess you could say that, you know. Uh, but then again, you got to think about it. You know, me and Dante, we were both sitting at the house, you know, and you know, no, I know for me, no training camp or anything like that. So, um, you know, there's, there's been plays where I don't rip it off first play of the game, you know. So, um, but I feel like uh, with any running back, of course, the more carries you get, the more comfortable you get. Um, you know, you're able to get loose and laddered up, and um, you're able to be more productive. Adrian, now that you've uh, kind of settled in with the Titans, I'm wondering if you've had a chance to catch up with Derek at all, and if so, what have those conversations been like? Um, yeah, I've had opportunity to catch up with him and just kind of chit-chatting, you know, um, you know, nothing out of the ordinary, you know, just kind of catching up, seeing how he's doing, how he's feeling. Um, and, you know, that's pretty much it, just your basic conversations. Brangle mentioned that urgency was sort of his message of the week. How, how important is that this week against a team that you know, has struggled so far this year? Uh, I feel like it's very important. You know, uh, you know, sometimes some teams can get, you know, lackadaisical, you know, when you, when you come coming up against a team like the Texans. Um, but watching them on the field, on the film, you see these guys are a lot of guys out there that's still locked in, that this is fighting, that have that have something to prove. Um, so it's going to be all about, you know, us just staying locked in offensively in all phases, and and handling business. Other than your pad level, which you talked about earlier, did you see other areas that you improved upon <laughs> between week one and week two, and what were they? Yeah, I would say um, I felt better, more in sync with the offensive linemen. You know, trusting those guys, and uh, you know, being patient when I need when I need to be, and you know, being fast when I need to be uh, as well. Um, so I was I was happy to see that. In the, in the pass catching too, uh, like I assume that's shaking off some rust, just like the running is. And if Jeremy's not in this week, you you up to maybe catching a few more passes? Yeah, yeah, I'm up to catching catching passes. You know, I think I caught a couple, maybe one or two last week. Um, but yeah, you know, I've been, I tell people this all the time. I've been catching balls since I was little league, you know. So uh, if they call my number to do it, I'll, I'll, I'll get in there and execute. You play for different head coaches. Now that you're here with Coach Rabel, is it unique, you know, his ability to find the messages that apply so much to each week? Yeah, I feel like it's unique. You, know, you got a, a guy that played for a long time and has success, and you know, so he understands what's going on in the locker room, and he's able to relate to us as players and. Uh, um, I, I know I'm listening to everything he, he says, and, and, and the guys that are around are, are as well. So, uh, anytime you have a head coach that's you know that's been in in the same shoes that you've been in, you know you, you can appreciate that, and you know his words carry a little more weight. Player, he was good. You know, hard nosed guy, fundamental. Uh, you know, hard hitter. You know, and uh, but it was always fun going against him. You know, when he was with the Patriots and, and uh, you know, those guys have always been sound on defense, you know. So, you knew when you came in, you had to be laced up and ready to roll. Did he, did he ever tell you the story of 
story about the stiff arm you gave him that maybe helped him speed up uh, his decision to retire? <laughs> I think he even told me, but I think I've heard that heard that story um, before. But uh, I'm sure he got me on a couple of plays too. There was a drill you guys were doing yesterday where, where you were like sitting down and the uh -huh. coach dudes was like slowly pushing you through the ground. A lot of fans were wondering what the purpose of that was. If you yeah, yeah. I've actually I've seen someone, a couple people make a comment a lot about, you know, what exactly is this working on? And it's funny because today, um, watching film, it showed up. Um, and basically what it's working on is, you know, you're being tackled, your body going one direction, you know, you someone's wrapped you up, and you got other guys that's coming, trying to scrape the ball away, you know, so kind of just falling you know, with the ball and making sure you keep it high and tight. Um, because, like I said, today it showed up. It was two plays that he showed where guys were in the same position, falling down, you know, away from a guy that was pulling at the ball. You know, so uh, it, it looks crazy when, you, when you're just watching it from a different perspective. But, um, you know, being in this league for a long time, you're definitely put in that position sometimes. And, you have to uh, you have to practice it to make sure you know how to execute and protect the ball when that situation occurs in the game. What's it like working with Tony? I mean, you they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks. You've been in the game for so long. Do you pick up on these things from new coaches? And maybe what are your early impressions from from Tony doing so far? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, yeah. I've been around for a long time, and I don't agree with that saying because you know you you can always learn something. You know, and especially in this offense, you know, I've been learning a lot. I think Co Coach Tony has done a great job of uh, being very detailed, over detailed with things, um, really pressing the issue about little things um, that I've been doing for 14 years. But, you know, when you're not out there, you kind of get a little loose with the ball, you know. So it's just simple things like that, you know, keeping the ball high and, you know, um, you know, covering it up. You know, he's always kind of, you know, pressing and reminding you of those little things. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm appreciative of, you know, what he um, has done for me thus far. And, you know, like he always say, you know, you can continue to learn, man, no matter how old you are, no matter how long you've been around the league, there's always something new you can learn.